Hey guys, Minecraft Data Tag here, and today I have something very interesting to show you. I have a ATM for you. Um, and yeah, so basically I'm going to be showing you how to use this ATM and how it works. So, we have our coins right over here. So I have a thousand coins, let's just say, collected from the world. I collected a thousand coins, but I found a city, and I want to deposit my coins into my bank that can be transferred anywhere across the world, because, for example, if I die, I lose all these coins, so I want to stash them away in a safe place. So, if I want to stash these away in a safe place, now if you can do the death method so that if they're in a radius of the spawn, you can set their coins to zero, and then uh, do whatever, and then they'll lose all their coins, unless they keep it in an ATM. So, let's say, oh, I want to deposit a lot of my coins into the ATM. Let's say I want to deposit, and there's local merchants along the trail that are far away from the ATM. And so you want to keep some coins on you, however, you might need to fight a few battles on your way. So you can't deposit all your coins if you want to trade with those merchants. So, let's say I want to deposit half of my coins into the stash. As you can see, it has subtracted 500 coins, and if you press tab, you'll notice that it added 500 coins. And the tab menu, when you push tab, that is your stash. That is how much money you have in the bank currently to be transferred between all of them. But your coins is just how much you've collected in the world and can be lost. However, the stash cannot be lost. So, then let's say, oh, I'm in another town, and I got through that hectic area. I still got all my coins, and I wanted to take out some coins, because there's a store right there that deals with coins. So, I want to take out all of my coins. And you'll notice that... Okay, I took out my 1,000, but I still have 1,000 in the stash, so I can take out all that, too. Now, that's because I pre-put 1,000 in the stash. So, that's the only reason why there's that much. But other than that, you could take out all your money using this. However, when you reach your limit of 2,000, I have nothing in the stash. When I push this button again, it will not give me any money this one wants this one wants and if I want to go ahead and deposit all my money back in if you do get all the way okay I'm pushing it way too fast if you do get all the way down to zero with your um, coins and then you have all of your coins within the stash then nothing will happen when I finally get all the way down, you won't spend any. And just to show you that these work, these do work. As you can see, these do plainly work. Um, they do subtract um, their respective coins and the withdraw ones work the same way. They have the exact same circuit, just slightly different variables. And, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and subtract myself to zero by pushing this button enough times. So one more time with this button and then three times with this button. And there we go. So we're at zero. And now if I push this button, no coins will be taken out. No coins will be added to my stash. And that is the basic premise behind the ATM is that if you die, you lose all your coins. Because otherwise, it's kind of useless to have an ATM. <laughs> just saying. It's just really useless to have an ATM. So, I would suggest that adding, if you have this ATM somewhere, or something like it, to have it when they die, they lose a certain amount of coins, or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into how this actually works. So, first... We just get into here. 
I have... Let's just look at this one, because they're all the same thing, just slightly alternated the way they look. So basically what's happening is the first thing that happens, this redstone gets activated when you push the button. This therefore turns off this torch, allowing current to flow through these comparators. That is what this redstone current is doing, is blocking flow through these comparators. Now, over here, you'll notice that this comparator is powered. The only reason for that is that you can't get the power down here without activating this, so I had to power it right here. But it's the most important one that you cannot power is this comparator right here. So don't really worry about that comparator, worry about this one. Uh, you can power both, though. So basically what's happening here is it's testing for if you have at least one coin, is basically what it's doing. And then, if you do have one coin, when you push the deposit button, it will remove one coin, and then it will add one to your stash in the tab menu. And it's the same thing for all these, just 10 and 100. And over here, it checks if you have at least one in your stash when you're withdrawing from the bank. Then it will remove one from your stash, and then give you one coin. And then it's the same 10 with and 100. Um, so that is basically how it works. That is why I made it. Um, and I will be providing a download in the description. As usual, I'll have the show some love download and the normal download. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!